Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. And I'm here. Hey, we have an exciting interview planned for you today. We're going to talk to Greg. He's lived here for over eight years full time. He's in the real estate business and he's going to give us some insight on choosing a town, maybe here or maybe anywhere in Mexico. And he's going to tell you little ideas on what to look for and what to expect. So, Lori, let's go talk to Greg and we'll uh, share that interview with our friends here. Yeah, let's go. Very exciting to interview with Greg. Yeah, okay. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> introduce you to Greg Gunther, and Greg is, how long have you lived in Mexico? Eight and a half years, full time. Eight and a half years, full time. Full time. Full time. Full time. Okay. okay. What I wanted to do is talk about an expat and what uh, living in San Miguel is and uh, some of the information that people won't get, you know, uh, this is behind the scenes questions, stuff like that. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, San Miguel and how come you decided to move here? So I was really looking for a place where I knew I could live full, full, full time year round from a weather perspective, from a climate perspective, from a social infrastructure perspective, from a support network of knowing that there'd be a lot of Americans also that would help me because my Spanish was not that good when I first moved here. So a lot of things like that were really what I was looking for when I did my research on where to move to Mexico. And San Miguel was the best option for me for, for what, the lifestyle that I was looking for. Now what advice would you give to somebody who's thinking about moving to Mexico and then especially moving here to San Miguel? What would, what would, how, what would you tell them? Check the social infrastructure. And, and make sure that there's enough activities, enough things to do, enough things to keep you active. Uh -huh. A ton of activity here. We have uh, a very active opera scene. We have a very active musical scene. We have a very active theatrical scene here. Uh, we have uh, a huge artistic community. So there are art gallery openings, art walks all the time. There's a tremendous amount of, of uh, entertainment activity. Okay, here. so activities. Now how about people who want to go golfing or, you know, what activities are there besides what you just mentioned? Yeah, we've got uh, three golf courses here in our, in our little village. Really just about any kind of activity that you can think of. Hot air ballooning is really popular here. It's beautiful to do What cost could they expect, you know, coming down here? You know, maybe a range of, of you know, for living expenses and maybe in a sense of a percentage versus, uh, say, San Diego, could you do that? Percentage-wise, let's say living down here, about a third. A third, a third cheaper down here. No, no, no. It's a third of the cost of living. Oh. In other words, I would pay three times more to be living in San Diego. Okay. Yes. Okay. From a rent perspective, from a food perspective, from an entertainment perspective. Okay. So, so uh, a couple coming down here. Let's say they're both uh, collecting Social Security. Even if they're getting say twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars a month each. So maybe between 2400 and 3000 a month, they could do it. They could certainly do that. Okay. There was a couple that uh, that had uh, produced a book, and I'm not sure it's still in print, called Falling in Love with San Miguel on Social Security. Oh. And that's exactly what was, was their, they both were on Social Security, that was their only income, and they lived here for many years uh, and, and did quite well. They lived in a neighborhood called San Antonio, which is very popular. Uh -huh. They were, I saw them out at restaurants all the time. So it's very possible to do that. Okay, now what about medical care? Medical care is really good here. Um, this is a re mostly retirement community. So most of the people who move down here are, are of an age where health is a big issue mm -hmm. to them. And so we have a really good private hospital here that's a, Sort of like a substation of one of the largest hospital chains in all of Mexico. Healthcare that you would need, I mean, brain surgery to heart surgery to stroke can be taken care of in Carretero. Now, what about just conveniences, you know, like uh, let's say a Home Depot or, you know, a mall or something like that? What, you know, you need to get a hammer, you need to get something. What, what's the thing, available? The thing that within 30 minutes I can be at a Costco. Uh, Sam's Club, okay. and Office Depot. Well, I, have a, I have an Office Depot here, but right? a Home Depot, uh, a Walmart in Mexico, all of those bigger box stores yeah. are at a minimum of 30 minutes away. Okay, okay. That's, that's great because then it's convenient, it's not too far, but you have all of the things that uh, 
we like to have is so you don't feel deprived. How about restaurants? Can you get, can I, can I pick up, you know, some ethnic food or do I just have to eat Mexican food? <laughs> what, what am I gonna get? That's, that's a good question, that's a good question. We have the full range of everything here in San Miguel. That's the wonderful thing about it here. French, we have Lebanese, we have Indian, uh, I think the only thing we're missing is Polish food. Okay. We have just about everything that you can imagine here. And then you have Thai restaurants? We have Thai restaurants. We have a couple of Thai restaurants. So anything that you can imagine. So, uh, it sounds really nice. And uh, weather. Weather. That's important. Weather is very important. So we get more sunshine in San Miguel than really uh, most of the places in the United States. So it's, a, it's a great from a climatic perspective. Very sunny. No humidity, we're at 6,400 feet in altitude, so it's very dry, no humid, okay. no, no snow at all, of course. Okay. So very, great. it's wonderful climate. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I've heard of people moving here because of health reasons that, and the weather, once they got here and started living, their health just came back, I mean, you know, without taking drugs and all the other stuff. So. Very healthy lifestyle here, yeah. very healthy lifestyle. Another thing that we haven't mentioned here, and we, is, uh, Greg also is uh, in the real estate business. And uh, tell us a little bit your name and, and your company. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna post down below uh, all of his information so you can get in touch with him. So, the nice thing about it is we have a dream lifestyle here no matter what your budget is. We have a dream lifestyle in San Miguel and that's the important thing. So, so in, in a case where if you wanna come for a few nights, you can do that. Uh, Greg can also arrange for you to get a few months and then also or a lifetime or a lifetime yes <laughs> he'd love to sell you okay thanks Greg. you bet uh, thanks, i appreciate Jerry. your time you you're the greatest well we hope that you receive some value from that little interview that we gave here and uh, maybe giving you some food for thought and so we would like to ask you a favor subscribe and thumb up make a comment so if you subscribe that'll help us out a lot because we can boost our youtube uh subscription rate and uh it's free to you to uh, receive a video once a week and it will just help us to get our ratings up in youtube do us a favor if you don't mind if you got value from this then just subscribe hit that little face somewhere of me and uh, that'll automatically take care of it for you thank you it's free Thank you. Thank you.